Hey, beautiful people. Welcome to episode 158 of Credit 101. And in this episode, we're going to talk about the Kvers system. Now, with this, I, let me just say this. I am not an expert on this. I'm going to just give you the information that I know, and I want you guys to do more research because it's a lot that goes into this. But it's very, very important. And I think that um, a lot of times we should just spark, just let some sparks just fly in our mind to even do greater research. So if you're dealing with this proper problem, hopefully this is part of your full research and hopefully it's going to help. I do have a blog that's going to go into greater details, but I just want to come and just say something because I like videos for those people that like videos just like me. So what is Kvers? So you have to understand that Kvers is basically a credit alert verification reporting system. So it's just basically a database that's used by the federal agencies to track borrowers, borrowers who had defaulted on their federal loans, basically, or who have a history of uh, federal debt problem. So we're talking um, FHA, VA, USDA, and SBA. So if you guys have had problems or you had any defaults with these companies, it will be inside. It will be reported to the caver system. Now, the thing is, people want to know why does this even matter? Why this matter is because you can get a loan denial if you are in here. So if your name is in here, they say you're supposed to wait about three years to um, to be able to get a loan again. So if your name is in here you and it's not the three years, you need to know that you're most likely going to get denied for a loan. Or sometimes they may ask for additional documentation, um, additional documentation, or you may just have a difficult time just getting approved in general, even if you're after that three years. So that's why this actually matters. So you can actually check your status to know exactly what's going on, see if your information is in the CAVER system. First, I would tell you guys to check with your lender because your lender can actually check your um, CAVER on your behalf as part of your loan process, application process. When I watched another video about this so I can learn even more about this because I read up on it two times, plus I watched a video about this. When I did my research on here, he was saying that usually when you're in the loan, the mortgage process, they're going to check this system like almost at the end. So if you think it's a great chance that you're in this system and you don't want to waste your time, you could request to see if they can actually check it sooner. And you can also um, request a copy of this report through a federal agency that's managing your loan. So whoever is managing your loan or any lender that's participating in this um, CAVER system, they should be able to give you a report also, it reminds me of when people said we weren't able to really get our credit reports like that back in the day. Like you had to get it from the actual bank or whoever it is that you were applying for, whatever loan. So that's kind of what I'm thinking about with this one. And then two, um, if you find that you are listed on this, you will need to address and resolve these underlying issues. So you have to think about paying off the debt or just settling these debts. Now, it's more than just saying pedal, pay the debt and settle the debt because when I watched the video and I, I let me see if I can even find it. It's supposed to be like, I think his name was the number one student loan lawyer. Um, I watched the video that he had on here about how to clear it and paying it off was one of the things, but you have to understand too, this is a lot of money. They're not trying to accept settlements. Um, and I think that you can actually try to get it cleared the same way that you could possibly try to get like your credit report um, clear in a way, but you'll have to try to see how you can do what you can do to get your name removed off of that. You can obtain documentation showing that your debt has been paid or resolved. That can help you. If it's it's your student loans that's within the system. Try to see if you can do like a debt repayment. Yeah, try to see if you can do like a debt repayment. And not only just doing a debt repayment, um, they had a rehabilitation. And we had a special rehabilit rehabilitation right now. And this is July um, 29, 2024, when I'm recording this technically. Um, it's going to come out a few days later when you probably are watching it or you probably even watch it the replay anyway, just later on. But the student loans have something now where it's a certain thing that's going on right now where you don't have to do the nine months. They can actually put your um, accounts back into good, good standing. So that may be something that you all want to actually look into.
okay just to make sure that you get this updated now a few tips for avoiding this and just make sure that you're paying all of your things on time especially if it got to do with the federal government paying everything on time um and then check your credit report to see if you got any potential issues and then seek some type of financial counseling like if you're struggling with debt in general and you have to figure out what you're going to do about this issue but i hope that this helped you all hopefully this you know, it can be some information that you guys can use in the future. Now, for those people that's first, this is your first time watching my videos, I definitely want to show you all my website. So my website, on my website, I have a lot of stuff that's catering to those people that need to build their credit, who don't have credit at all, or if you need to repair your credit, or if you're just looking to you know, maybe just get higher limits. You don't necessarily need to build it. You just want higher limit credit cards or whatever it is when it comes down to credit cards and like the negative accounts to your credit. That is what I care to on my website. Now you guys can schedule a call on my website. You can see if I have any upcoming events that I'm doing. You can do a home buying application if you would like me to help you um, purchase a home and also home tours. Check out some of the home tours that I did. If you guys have any negative accounts on your credit report, such as charge offs, collections, bankruptcies, I do have a dispute letter that you can use here. It's free. I do have a dispute letter that you all can download so that you guys can work to remove those negative accounts from your credit report. Now, you have to get this letter and send it to all three credit bureaus or send it to whatever credit bureau is reporting that account. So definitely come to my website. Once you fill out this, um, you guys will get an email. And then also I'll send you something about how you can increase your credit score 60 points in 60 days. So definitely check that out. If you have negative accounts and you want to actually target them, such as you got late payments, student loans, collections, charge off bankruptcies, then I have dispute letter packages these letters have six letters in it and the bankruptcy is the only one that have the four but this is the letters these are the letters that you guys can use to start removing those negative accounts from your credit reports and it's only 27 dollars for a package of six letters in a little bit though i'll show you how you can possibly get this at a discounted rate also, utilization um, sheets. I always show people how to balance out their credit cards, and I have a utilization sheet here where you can track all your credit cards. You can know what your utilization is, and this can actually help you pay down your credit cards. If you guys have balances on your credit cards, you need to know how to actually pay it down, which ones to pay down first. This sheet would be great for you all. If you guys are looking to possibly get more hands-on help, you would like to talk to me, you want more access to me, then I do suggest that you guys get my membership. I make sure I take calls for those people that's in my membership as a priority. Um, I do have one where you start with a dollar trial, and that is going to be $79 per month, and then also have one for $99, and then it's going to be $29 per month, or you can get lifetime access for fifty. I mean, $599. So definitely if you want to get more hands on help and then also I can email you your letters that you can actually mail and then I also can mail them for free on my end. Definitely join the membership if you want more hands on help. Now these this right here is like my favorite part It's the credit cards. I have multiple lists of credit cards here so if you're looking for just the top credit cards that i like i have that list here if you want to pre-qualify for a credit card without a hard inquiry i have this here so you guys can pre-qualify for a credit card without a hard inquiry and this would have over 45 accounts since this is my favorite favorite list because i love to pre-qualify for things without the hard inquiry i want to show you a little bit of what it looks like so you'll see a video of whatever card it is an image of that card apply now so you can go ahead and apply on a website and also have a free downloadable guide and i have information about the card and it's going to repeat for multiple cards so you can see which ones you definitely like which ones are going to help you in your journey of building your credit or even whatever credit you want to get now i have multiple lists bad credit students travel to build credit gas rewards, cash back. I have multiple ones there. I also have the five ways to increase your credit score 60 points in 60 days. The webinar, you can just click directly on here and you will be able to, again, if you already did those free disputes, because this is the thing I said, the 60 points in 60 days, the webinar that you can watch, 
Um, if you already did that, once you put your information in here, you should go all the way back to the actual webinar. Now, a lot of people love this part, six months of free letters. I can actually do your letters for you, six months worth of them, and I can actually email them to you and fill out all your information. All you have to do is literally put them in the envelope and mail them. So I definitely have that for you. If you want the six months of free letters, this is, this is something that you have to do if you want me to create the letters for you. First off, you have to get our mega dispute letter package. All that is, is, is all of the letters that's here. Like all these packages, you get bankruptcy, charge off collections, do loans and late payments. You get all of these together in one. You're going to get the free letter that's here. Plus, you're going to get additional letters, all of that. And I believe... Um, the original price is one ninety nine, but you're getting sixty five percent off of that. I think it comes like sixty seven, sixty nine dollars. So definitely, you have to purchase the Mega Dispute Letter Package. Do a fourteen day trial with Aura, so we can see if you guys have any type of fraud on your account. You need to be able to know if you had any type of data breaches. So definitely sign up for Aura. And all the links are here. So you can just click right here or click here. It doesn't matter. Um, but definitely do step two. And then step three is get your all three credit reports by identity IQ. And it's a dollar trial for seven days. And that's going to give us your credit report so that we can create the actual dispute letters for you. And then also the last when I well, second to last step is to actually complete the application. And that's what's going to give us the personal information I need to put on your letters. Um, so definitely complete the application. And then once you have made your purchase, reach out to us so that we can see if you're eligible for the free letter service. But as long as you did all four of these steps, you're definitely eligible for it. And then I have a lot of different blog posts on here about the different credit 101, home buying 101 is going to come next. Um, so definitely check out the website, Rakita.com. I will be editing the website soon, but this is what it looks like now. If you guys are interested in any credit card, you guys can definitely use this search bar here. And then also, if you're on your computer, then you can search. Actually, if you're a member already, you can search right here. I got special things for people that's a part of my actual membership. So if they want me to send certified letters, pay past due bills, schedule a call um, for free credit help, sign up again. Here are the steps that you need to actually do. So, yeah, that's what you will do if you guys are a member or say if you want a specific credit card you want to look up, just search whatever that credit card is. And you can see if I made some type of review on it. So here's the Apple card here. I'm going to click on it. Scroll down. You see, I got the video, the card here, apply now, free downloadable guide. And then also have some people that actually got approved for the credit card. I have some other reviews here. But I hope that you guys love this website and you're able to find more credit cards to get approved for. You start working to build your credit and you get exactly what you want out of your credit. And last thing I want to say about my wonderful website is if you like a certain credit card, at the bottom, I'll have similar cards. These are the cards to me that the, that's similar to the Apple card. So you can see I have similar ones down here. So you can go ahead and actually click on it and go to that next credit card. So this is the cashback card. And you can see other people say that they got approved for it. So I hope that you guys love this website. You can go into a rabbit hole looking at all the different things that's on this website. But I hope that you guys love it. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Have a great day.